first, it's a case that terrorized Western Washington for decades, but modern technology is bringing some closure to another family tonight. In the 80s and 90s, dozens of women and girls were found murdered in our area by serial killer Gary Ridgway, better known as the Green River Killer. An ancestry test helped identify this teenage girl decades later as one of his victims. This is Lorianne Respotnik, who officials once referred to only as Bone 17. In 1982, Lorianne was just 15 years old when she ran away from home in Lewis County. Her family never saw her again. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Rose. And I'm Sabir Rayford. While we may never know how she crossed paths with the Green River Killer, we are learning more about who she was. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman spoke with Lorianne's mother, Ali. What an emotional time this must be for her. This is a mother's worst nightmare. In a way, she's angry knowing her daughter's life was taken from her and her body dumped. But now, this is where the healing begins. Her daughter has been found and she can finally be laid to rest. Hey, I have so many pictures, but this is the typical one that every child especially little girls, don't want anybody to see. A young Lori Ann in pigtails and no teeth. One of the few pictures Donna has of her daughter. <laughs> she was a rascal like her dad. A vivacious little girl who grew up to be your typical teenager. You don't love me. You won't let me go horseback riding. Yeah. I'm mad at you today. One of the last conversations Donna recalls having with Lori. She was 15 years old when she ran away in 1982 which was not uncommon for her to do. I had to go to tough love. Donna had a son she needed to look after. It pained her, but she moved on, hoping Lori would eventually return home. You just tell yourself that you hope she's happy and doing something she wants to do. The young mother says she worried and wondered where her daughter was. She says she had a private investigator look for her, even reached out to friends and law enforcement, but even if they found her, no one would be able to force her back home. Did you ever have a feeling that your daughter was no longer here with you alive? Several times. At the same time, we spent the, the majority of 1984 recovering bodies. An overwhelming reality as girls and young women fell prey to the Green River killer, Gary Ridgeway. I thought to myself, it wouldn't surprise me if Lori was one of the victims. Last picture we ever got. Her disappearance remained a mystery until December 30th, 1985, when City of Auburn employees were called to investigate a car over an embankment near the Mountain View Cemetery. Detectives found human remains. They kept digging and found a second set. They were labeled Bone 16 and Bone 17. In 2002, Ridgeway led detectives to the same area and admitted to placing the victims there. Guilty. He pleaded guilty in 2003 to murdering these two victims, but for years, their identities remained unknown until Donna says her granddaughter took a DNA test for an ancestry service. It popped as a match for Lori. A devastating discovery confirmed by a DNA test and King County detectives who visited her in Juneau, Alaska and walked her through the cold case. It just adds a layer of guilt that I hadn't found her. I hadn't saved her from that fate. As a mother, she never gave up looking for her daughter, and neither did detectives. She's no longer Bone 17. She's Lorianne Raspotnik. I finally know where she is. Now I have to put her where she needs to be. I'm gonna try and have her buried at her dad's right shoulder, because that was her favorite spot. As for convicted killer Gary Ridgway, this is the most recent photo the Department of Corrections has of him taken back in 2017. Ridgway pleaded guilty in 2003 to killing 49 women, but some believe he could have as many as 70 victims. He is serving a life sentence for those killings. The King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office tells us this isn't the end of the road for this case. They are still trying to identify the other women and girls who were killed. In the newsroom, Alejandro Guzman. Fox 13 News.